Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about one of the most important parts of your tattooing process as a tattoo artist, and that is your stencil. I did make a video about this probably about like two years ago, and I don't know why, but I told this really long story in the beginning of the video, and I feel like it's hard to watch. So I'm gonna do it today again, but get straight to the point. So first off, I always draw my stencils on my iPad. Um, drawing on my iPad, I think gives me an advantage because when I print it out of my printer, whatever I drew is very dark. The lines are all consistent and I'm able to put it through the stencil machine without getting any inconsistencies in the lines because of varying darknesses. So the printer is able to give you just a perfect black line to where if you were to draw it with a pencil or a pen, the pressure on the paper might not be the same and the stencil maker might not pick up your lines as accurately as a printer's lines. Now, every stencil maker is different. I forget the brand name of mine. I'll pop it up somewhere so you know which one I have. But basically it uses heat to push the stencil onto transfer paper so then that way you can put it on your client. Now, if your stencil machine is too hot and it's running too slow, then all of your lines for your stencils are gonna all be blown out and they're not gonna be accurate. But if it's running too cool and you put it through too fast, the lines won't be dark enough. So then that way when you go to put your stencil on, it's gonna be very faint and it'll be really easy to wipe off your client's skin while you're tattooing. So depending on what stencil machine that you're using, you just wanna find that happy medium that gives you the best results uh, printing your stencils. So once I'm happy with the way that my stencil came out of the stencil machine, I'll cut it out and go to put it on my client, which I'm going to show you now. All right, so now that we got our stencil all stenciled up uh, on our thermal paper, should look something like this. It's a clean stencil. You're able to see all the details. Uh, you don't want it super light. You want it darker like this, so then that way when it transfers to the skin, it is readable. Make sure you're wearing gloves for this process. Um, to shave the client, I'll use green soap and obviously a razor. Get the skin nice and wet to make sure that all the hairs are standing up. And then I shave down, a lot of people shave up. I feel like I end up giving people ingrown hairs um, when I shave up, so I just shave down. It gives me better results. Whatever works best for you, go for it. Also, I like to shave outside of the area uh, that I'm actually tattooing because for the bandage that I end up putting on, you don't want uh, the adhesive bandage to stick to their hair and them hate you when they get home to take it off. I feel like I've done that to you before. <laughs> all right, now they're all shaved up. I'll use alcohol to clean off the skin, make sure any type of dirt or germs are free from the skin. Once again, I also go outside of the area that I'm gonna tattoo because you're gonna be touching uh, skin that you're not tattooing, but you want it to be clean. So just pretend you're standing in line at the grocery store. You want to put the stencil on as natural as possible because as the skin moves, um, the tattoo will move with it. So you want it at the most natural point as possible. So what I like to do is I like to take a marker and uh, once I find the spot where I want the tattoo to sit, I will mark the stencil with little ticks on the skin also to know where to line the stencil up. It saves time and it definitely uh, will save you some aggravation when it comes to replacing the stencil. Uh, the stencil applicator that I like to use is stencil stuff. There's a million of them on the market. Uh, you could use whatever one you want. One thing that you do not want to do is use too much stencil uh, solution because then it's just gonna end up smearing the stencil. You, the goal here is to get the skin pretty much just sticky. Uh, you don't want it super wet. The lines will all blur and then you're gonna have to replace your stencil. So. I like to rub it in. It's a little bit more than I need, uh, but I'll rub it in. And once I get it all evenly coated like this, it's still a little bit too wet. So what I like to do is take a paper towel and I will just basically dab the entire area that I'm gonna be tattooing and it makes it more even. And you can kind of feel that it's then sticky. So this is where the ticks come in handy. You line them up. You line all those lines up the best you could. Here, stay still. Now once I have it stuck to the skin like this, I'll take another paper towel and basically use it 
to just fully press the stencil on. I find that using a paper towel is definitely helpful because you don't uh, run the risk of any type of moisture that was on your gloves kind of smearing the stencil a little bit. Uh, I just find it helpful. And once it's all on, you, you know, look and see that it's fully adhered to the skin. Pick an edge and slowly peel it off. Did everything right. Should be a solid saturation all the way around. I always like to save my stencil paper just in, in case the client doesn't like where it's at. And as you can see, that's a strong stencil. That is going to take maybe like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I'll let it dry. Uh, and then that will be ready to tattoo. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. Bye.